A friend of mine 3D printed this magnificent looking nose cone for the homemade wind turbine. And so it's about time we get this thing installed. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to have to take that rotor off. So the part that has the blades on it, we're gonna to have to take that off the, uh, off the pole, because then it's much easier to, uh, to attach that nose cone. The nice thing is, it just screws onto the generator. So we're just gonna need one tool to remove that, which is this spanner. Let's go. Hmm. Just getting this chair. So, some of you might have noticed that the uh, that I've got a new generator, right? So I'm no longer using this gearbox. Uh, I'm now using a uh, a wheel from a hoverboard. So it's now direct drive again, which makes it much more efficient and also uh, more reliable. And it's also less noisy, actually, which is also nice. Right, so now we just put this on here. And we unscrew, unscrew the rotor, just like that. So... <laughs> This is also why the turbine spins clockwise. It's so that this thread doesn't untighten itself. So if you're gonna make a wind turbine that also screws onto the generator like this, that's why you want to make it, you want to make it turn clockwise. If you, want, if you, if you make it turn anti-clockwise, it's gonna undo itself and it's gonna come off. Now there are all sorts of different ways that we could attach the nose cone to the turbine. But the reality of it is that there is really not a whole lot of force being applied to this cone. Uh, not by the wind and also not really by gravity because this thing is really light. So we're not going to make things too difficult for ourselves here. Uh, we're just going to glue this thing straight on, just like that. Okay, so that actually looks pretty nice, I think. Uh, now we just need to go ahead and install this thing back onto the generator. There you go, the wind turbine is, uh, is back in operation. Right, so now this might actually be a pretty short video, so I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and uh, take a look at the, the rest of the electrical system that is behind this setup. So what I've done is I've redone all the wiring and I've also added a couple of new bits and pieces here and there. So what we've got is the power cable from the wind turbine coming in here into this box where it gets rectified, so the AC from a turbine generator gets converted to DC, 
and then it goes into a DC boost converter which makes the voltage a bit higher so that allows the turbine to spin a little bit slower and then that DC power goes through this uh, current meter so that I can see how much power the wind turbine is producing and then it goes into these two rails which are hooked up to the positive and negative of our uh, car battery. We're still using the same car battery as a, as a storage system. We've also got the solar panel, right? So we've got two wires coming in here for the solar panel, uh, which goes to this charge controller. It's a very cheap, very simple charge controller, nothing too fancy. Uh, and then from there it goes into the battery as well. And so that's how the wind turbine and the solar panel are charging uh, this battery. And then as for using power from the system, uh, we've got these two wires that go to a 12 volt output uh, downstairs. Uh, there is also a USB port for charging you know, mobile devices. And finally, what we've also got is these two really thick cables going to this 1000 watt uh, power inverter. So I did have a 300 watt inverter before, uh, which was you know, kind of nice for powering small things. But the nice thing about this inverter is, first of all, it's, it's a pure sine wave inverter, which allows me to power things that don't work, or the square wave inverter that I had before. And of course, you know, it's a thousand watts, so it can be used to power things like tools and other you know, high power appliances. So this is a pretty nice upgrade. So this allows me to actually power tools from the renewable energy that I generate, which is you know, kind of nice given that this whole setup is in the shed. So that's the, uh, the electrical system. I'm quite pleased with it. The only thing that's perhaps a little bit undersized is the, the battery. It's a bit of a small battery. It's also a car battery, so you can't, uh, you can't discharge it that much. So I might have to get a bigger battery at some point, but for now it's, it's working well enough. So there you go. We've installed the new nose cone, which will obviously help a lot in the aerodynamic performance of the wind turbine. Uh, and we've also done a little bit of a tour of the electrical system in the attic of the shed, uh, because that has changed quite a lot. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and of course, thank you for watching.